Le mardi 4 octobre 2011, l'ambassadeur pour les droits de l'homme François Zimray a accueilli Mme Catherine Altali et M. Bassam Ishak, membres du Conseil national syrien. The Syrian National Council uh, is now a bigger entity. It has attracted now more uh, participation from more political groups. And it's a very key step uh, for the Syrian revolution because now uh, we have uh, a identity. We have the alternative to the current regime is become now a non-identity and now other government in the world, especially those who have withdrawn their uh, support and legitimacy from the current regime, can uh, confirm legitimacy upon the new uh, uh, National Council of Syria. And the National Council of Syria, most importantly, enjoys the support of the Syrian revolutionists in the street. Uh, and now this body, which is really a collection of uh, gifts and collection of experience of uh, uh, very gifted Syrian people can uh, put minds together and hearts together and uh, strategize for the revolution uh, and, uh, and interact uh, with the international community uh, and as well as with the people on the street. Syrian people decided not uh, coming back to their houses without their freedom. They decided to continue the revolution uh, uh, till the end, and their aim is really clear now. Syrian people's aim is overthrowing Syrian regime, and uh, they need uh, their freedom, their dignity, and the state ruled by law and democracy in this state and better future for Syria. Seven months of continuous revolution, it shows two things. One, uh, inability of the regime to put down this uh, revolution. Uh, and then it shows the determination of the Syrian people to uh, a new future that is democratic, uh, civil, uh, according to the uh, demonstrations, the demands that is displayed by the people and articulated is they want a pluralistic uh, society, pluralistic uh, government that is civil, uh, democratic, and uh, uh, that uh, respect human rights and that is uh, at peace inside and with its neighbors. Uh, I think the regime is under tremendous pressure, especially uh, you know economic pressure. Uh, I cannot predict the time, you know, uh, when the regime will fall, but I can sense that it will be very soon. Uh, uh, and I think that people, as I, I derive this and conclude this from the determination of the Syrian people. They have made up their mind. They don't want this regime. Uh, first of all, uh, Syrian people and we uh, need protection for uh, the civilian in, inside Syria. Uh, we need international protection uh, for Syrian uh, people, for the civilian who's killing day after day uh, in Syria. Uh, we need uh, from France uh, special also uh, to uh, continue. We know that France start uh, tr this trying to uh, find a solution to protect uh, uh, in the UN, to protect uh, the uh, civilian in Syria, and we need to continue that to achieve uh, this aim, protection civilian in Syria. We also uh, will look forward to form a partnership with the civil society in France to learn from their experience uh, in uh, uh, protecting and, uh, and absorbing democracy. I think there is a lot for us as we will have a new democratic country being born. Uh, it's very important for us to partner with countries like uh, France 
who are advanced in the uh, democratic experience.